behaviour that needs to be addressed? I think it, it is individuals. I think if we all do stuff on our own, then eventually it'll work so that we need to just switch our everyday lives to make ourselves more, just recycle more, like, as individuals. But also, I think the government should put steps in place to make it so that we are more ecologically friendly as a country. So it's kind of both, I think. All right. Uh, Lucy, where do you stand on, on, on this subject? I think it's incredibly important. Um, and while an individual can do quite a lot by themselves and if a whole family is really being focused on that kind of effort, the government can have a lot of control over that. They're a large platform, a lot of people listen to them. And if they can put policies in place and procedures that can promote kind of anti-climate change that's more friendly for our environment, then that's going to be really the key thing that's going to be able to... Let's talk about the Isle of Man then. Do you think the Isle of Man should have wind farms? Uh, you see because them... Because people have tried for years to put wind farms on land, on the Isle of Man, and they always get knocked back. Always. I think wind farms, they generate a lot of electricity, but on the Isle of Man, they're huge. I mean, if we had them up Snowfell, they'd be enormous and it would ruin quite a lot of the um, the landscapes. I mean, you wouldn't be able to stand on top of Snaefell and look out over Ramsey and look out over kind of the north and see its beauty. You'd just see a bunch of white spinning windmills. But if the equation said we put up 20, 30, 40 big windmills and we have no more power station, w what, would that be worth it? It's a difficult one. Because uh, there are other ways to, you know, protect our environment than putting wind farms in. See, everybody seems to, people seem to have a notion of the fact that something has to be done. But only governments can do things. Only governments can spend that sort of money, get into partnership with private companies and say, we will have a tidal power station, we will have an offshore wind farm. Do you think governments need to put their foot down on this and do something about it? Because obviously, they're, yeah. they're pushing an open door. People recognize what's happening and this is your future your generation will be picking up the pieces of anything that does go wrong you're the ones that will have to deal with higher sea levels yeah definitely they need i think they need more support because at the moment there's not much talked about it like archie says he's put in a fair amount of support into the government on getting the manx government to do something about climate change and a lot of it is not fairly represented and I think it should be far more talked about, especially in Tin World. Do you think our politicians get it? I'm not sure. I think they know it's there, but they're too scared to actually do something about it. Harrison? I believe they're too, they're too scared to act and they're being selfish. They're not thinking about the future that the youth will have, as us will have to grow, grow up through climate change. And by 2027, I'll be 24, and I've still got another 60, 70 years, possibly, of my life to live in a world that's already been damaged uh, by the actions of previous generations. What the Taliban government could do? I think the wind farms would be a good idea. I think Offshore or on the Isle of Man? Whatever it, whatever it takes. I mean, we have, to, we have to be carbon neutral. Otherwise we're accelerating that uh that date that i just talked about okay right well we're live at castle russian high school today um uh, hal is uh, next to you as well what were you going to say about climate change um i think it it can't be left up to people in the government i think businesses have got to do stuff as well because but well, we should we should think about where we spend our money but also we should. We definitely shouldn't just let businesses do what they want. Businesses will do what makes them money, though, won't yeah. they? So, business will always go where the money is. So, if if the government could make it so that business made money out of being carbon neutral and doing things that would help um, balance things out, um, do you think? And again, we come back to governments. And again, it's a, this is a global issue uh, that everybody has to pull on the same rope. Everybody has to fall in behind and do something about it. Uh, and time is running out. So governments, do you reckon? I think governments have got to put regulations in or something to just stop it getting too, too far. All right. Uh, well, we're going to take a very short break. We're going to be back and the students of Year 12 at Castle Russian High School with lots more to talk about on The Man in Line.